Greetings, students of the Force, and welcome back to the channel. Darth Vader was incredibly secretive about his origins as Anakin, only allowing a certain few people to live knowing this information. Many of those who knew he was alive, such as Yoda, Obi-Wan, and Bail Organa, were only so because Vader was simply unable to get to them. Anyone who knew his identity or deduced it would be swiftly slain by the Dark Lord no matter who they were. It was actually a very genius move on the part of Thrawn as well as Tarkin to keep their deductions about Vader's identity a complete secret from him, as I have no doubt in mind that he would have instantly killed them and just faced the repercussions later. However, one thing that seems to be a bit inconsistent, or at least raise a few questions, is how Darth Vader reacted to people seeing his real face. There have actually been many instances where Darth Vader has outright killed those who have seen his true face for the simple fact that they could never tell the tale, and other instances where he seemed almost indifferent to it and allowed them to live. So why exactly is this? And let's explore how Darth Vader reacted to people seeing his real face. We won't bother going into too much detail about the people that would make sense to know Vader's true appearance, as he does have a personal doctor who sees to his cybernetics, a caretaker who we see the Dark Lord with within his back to tank on Fortress Vader named Vinay. What we want to know though, is why are there so many people that Vader has outright killed for seeing him without his mask, and a few others that he has let live without issue, or without even ever mentioning it. So, where is the difference? We can count three instances of people coming into Vader's meditation chamber. Vader never bothered to lock this room. He never really had to, as it was universally known never to bother him in there. Two lived, and one did not. So let's analyze why. First, let's discuss the most famous case, which is a of course in The Empire Strikes Back when Admiral Piet walked in to inform Vader of the status of the Millennium Falcon. Granted in this case, Admiral Piet only saw the back of Darth Vader's bare head, but nevertheless, it was still his head. Now of course, we can point to two things that secured Piet's survival. First, his rank. As Fleet Admiral, Piet was a very important job in the Imperial Fleet, and not just that, but Vader's own personal fleet. A position such as a Fleet Admiral was not easily replaceable, though having said that, we have seen Vader kill Moffs for entirely different reasons, with Moffs outranking admirals. What makes this situation different though, is that this isn't the first time that Piet came into Vader's chambers. He did so at the beginning when he informed Vader that Hazel had come out of hyperspace, and that he had been too close to Hoth, alerting the rebels. This means that Darth Vader gave Admiral Piet prior clearance to enter his chambers, but so long as he only had pertinent information. The first was about their impending attack, the second was about the Millennium Falcon chase, both information that was very important to Lord Vader, so much that he can overlook the slight that Piet accidentally happened upon him without his helmet. What I think may have helped Admiral Piet as well is that he maintained his composure and his professionalism, sticking straight to the reason why he entered in the first place. Now though, let's examine the opposite in an instant where Vader actually killed the individual that saw him without his mask. The aforementioned cybernetic doctor has an assistant that actually ended up falling into a one-sided romance with the Dark Lord. In the comic line Darth Vader Dark Visions, we find ourselves following a woman who begins to have an infatuation with Vader that progressively grows more obsessive as the story continues. In the beginning, she rushes into the med bay to give the doctor something right away as the doctor was about to take off Vader's helmet. He orders her to leave though as Vader puts his helmet back on and force pushes the doctor into a wall, threatening him to get control of his med bay. Here we see that Vader is already not keen on the idea of being seen by just anybody, even if she is a doctor's assistant. By the ending of the comic, the woman loses her mind and barges into Darth Vader's meditation chamber to pronounce her love for him, and she finds him without his mask on. Vader instantly kills her without a second thought by activating his lightsaber straight into her abdomen. It would be easy to differentiate the two circumstances though. One had a high rank as well as security clearance to see Vader, but the other was little more than a maintenance worker, and she just barged right in on the Dark Lord. However, let's take a closer look at another relative relatively low-ranking officer who barged in on Darth Vader and still lived to tell the tale. Only a mere few months after Order 66, right during Darth Vader's most sensitive time, Lieutenant Greg would frantically burst into his meditation chamber. This one requires a little backstory though. At this time, Vader was working tirelessly to locate an Order 66 survivor, Jedi Master Das Janir. This problem had been adjudicated to Lieutenant Greg to locate. Greg would spend a great deal of time and effort on this single task and locating the Order 66 survivor, valuing the importance of it being given to him. 
Finally, he managed to locate the Jedi and flew directly to Coruscant in a hurry, bypassing all the guards and excitedly bursting into Vader's personal chambers, viewing him without his helmet. Fear stricken, Greg would stutter a bit but maintain his composure as he delivered the news to the Dark Lord. Rather than being killed or even force choke, Vader was actually pleased with his findings and made no mention of the intrusion. He simply put his helmet on and went about his business as usual. I think with these pieces we can put together Vader's views on people seeing him without his helmet on. Anakin Skywalker had been burnt beyond recognition, so it wasn't about hiding his identity that he was so worried. It could be partially that he didn't want it getting out how truly scarred and weak he was underneath his armor, as he wanted to maintain his status as the domineering force of nature and direct servant to the Emperor. But perhaps most likely of all of this, and the one that we believe in, that Darth Vader hated the reactions to his appearance and trivial reasons anyone would disrupt his meditation. There is actually another moment where a clone trooper saw Darth Vader with his mask off after Darth Vader was injured. When the clone is shocked, Darth Vader instantly uses the force to break his neck. I believe that Darth Vader would have actually let the clone trooper live had the clone trooper not reacted in such a horrific manner. It is this reminder of his injuries and those who Vader does not deem worthy of it and their reactions to it that infuriates him so much. If he feels as if you are wasting his time or making a big deal of things, then he will most likely kill you as he may feel as though you can't handle the secret of his true appearance. However, if you're careful and you maintain your composure, as well as have clearance to be there and valuable information to the Dark Lord, he does not care that much. Of course though, Vader is not walking around showing his appearance to everybody that doesn't react, but this is the key moment how one would survive. In short, Darth Vader valued the reasons for these intrusions over the slight that they caused, so much so, enough to disregard someone having knowledge of his true appearance if they possessed information that he needed. This is something that's very compelling about Darth Vader, as it actually shows he is slightly insecure about his appearance, but he still values his job above this. But I want to know now, what do you guys think? Do you think that this is the correct answer, or do you have your own theory on Vader, and why he was secretive about his appearance with some, and not others. Let us know down below your thoughts, and as always, we hope to see you in the next video.